hey, just a few simple tips to make living with your new system a little bit more enjoyable. First thing you want to do prior to starting up is verify that all the valves are closed. Gas fire main reactor valve. Air in your system, this valve will either be open or closed. Air in your system is metered through internal jets and they're, they're fixed. You have your constant catchment from your hopper. Air mixture valve. This is your second place you will pull on your system. On your drop leg carburetor. You have your hopper condensate catchment. This valve is, this is the place where you pull on to begin with to get your system up to heat prior to filtering. And then you have two valves at the bottom of the second and third cooling towers. There is a small shop vac included with the unit. Uh, that's for pulling onto the system to get it up to heat. There are two places to pull on the system. First is pre-filter and that's this valve here. So you'll hook your, your suction line to this. Open the valve for when you're lighting. Once the system is up to heat in about four minutes or so, you would close this valve, switch over to the bottom of the drop leg carburetor and open this one, pull on that. And that ensures you're getting gas all the way through the, the filter assembly and it makes starting immensely easier. This is your air mixture valve. Uh, when you're going to start your system, you want to set this to about a 45 degree angle for initial starting and that'll definitely get you in the ballpark. As you crank your engine over you'll notice it wants to start running a little bit and then at that point you would adjust either way until you uh, maintain a, engine, uh, a stable engine speed. At shutdown you're going to want to drain condensates. There's a valve at the hopper condensate catchment. One at the bottom of the filter. And then there are two, on the, two valves, one on the second and third cooling towers. On the first cooling tower, I have actually put a capped inspection port. Uh, that shouldn't have to be undone and inspected very often as this particular cooling cooler is designed to stay above dew point and not collect a whole lot of moisture to begin with. Eventually, you're going to have to do some clean out maintenance. On this particular system, the gas fire body, there is a clean out port, eight bolts remove the plate. You can either vacuum or scoop out any uh, carbon deposit that would be down in there. That you can use for uh, permanent fertilizer, that type of thing. Then you put a smear of, of uh, RTV or silicone, put the plate back on, eight nut bolts. You just want to verify and make sure that this is airtight, very important. Then over onto the filter assembly itself, another eight bolts on top. The whole, this whole system comes off with the drop leg carburetor. You do want to verify because there's a screen attached to this plate and you don't want to knock it off. Down inside you'll find a uh, fan folded wool blanket that's rolled up. You can either shake or wash that out. Or if you have another wool blanket you could just replace it and you alternate between the two. Down below that you'll find uh, lava rock. We use that as a coalescing agent and that just helps filter any particulate that may have made its way through the system and also helps uh, to uh, coalesce any liquids that could be left in the gas stream. You want to open the, the drain valve and then flush, flush that uh, lava rock out with water. You know, then put it back as it was. Again, a, a smear of silicone or RTV, replace the eight bolts, close the valve and you're done.